Hello guys, this is Miko from SheetDB and I'm back to present you the new feature of our application and how you can use it in WordPress. If you still don't know SheetDB, it is an app that enables you to create APIs connected to Google Sheets and in this way, through different tools and services, it enables sending data to and pulling them from your spreadsheets. Today I want you to see how you can submit data from your WordPress site directly to a Google spreadsheet with the use of a new feature that we implemented into SheetDB, which is a form that is generated by the app and can be embedded into WordPress. So, firstly, we must have a spreadsheet to send our data to. I have prepared a really simple one. There are column names in the first row, first name, last name, age and email address. Let's copy the spreadsheet's URL straight away because we're going to use it immediately. Okay, now I'm moving on to the SheetDB's website at sheetdb.io and I will log into my account. You create a new API by clicking this button in the top right corner and after that there's an input where the spreadsheet's URL has to be pasted and simply by one click our API is ready. Click on your newest API in order to get this view at the top there, uh, there are API's endpoint and the spreadsheet's address. And below you will see the form creator. It will generate a snippet that we will use in WordPress later. Click on the Create HTML Form button and you will see the actual creator. So what we have here are two boxes where you can customize your form and below that a live preview of your changes. Now. Here you can choose which columns are to be used in your form, as well as which are going to be required to be filled. You can choose the data type and change the names of inputs in the form, because by default they are brought straight from that first row of your spreadsheet. Last thing here is a placeholder, which you may add to any of the inputs. So let's set first name as required field. And also an email address is something I want my users to leave as they submit the form. All of this data will be of a text type, although I also have age here, so I can either set it to be a number, which sounds smart, but also I can make it a drop-down with predefined numbers of, uh, or ranges of age. And that's what I'm going to do, so let's define our ranges below. Let's see, under 18, and then just separate them with commas from 18 to 30 and 30 plus. I have no idea what I need this kind of information for from my users, but never mind. As for the placeholders, I will add one for the email address to suggest its format. It will be name at domain.com. All right, let's move to the form settings. Here you can change the width of inputs, the whole form's alignment on the website, I prefer the center. Here's a background type, so either white or transparent, let's choose a transparent one. And at the end there is a success message, which will be displayed after submitting the form. Let's change that just for fun to thanks for submitting your data. So down below, as I said before, there's a live preview of your changes. And notice that indeed uh, the required fields I wanted, there's a drop down on the age and the placeholder on the email input. Great, let's fill in this form now. So Miko, last name SheetDB, a peculiar name, age and email miko at sheetdb.io and after clicking submit we are able to see our success message and those data already will be visible in our spreadsheet so let's quickly have a look at it yes there they are okay now if everything works well just go back to the creator to generate our snippet with this button and there you have it um, all you have to do now is simply copy the line and paste it to your wordpress site here I have a new post being edited and when I click on this plus sign there is an option uh, to put a short code here and that's what we need. Now just paste it there and publish your changes.
and let's see our ready form looking nice but does it work once again I will give it the sample data an email address then submit and in the spreadsheet there should be now a third row of new data yes lovely everything went great so I hope you like this new feature a generated snippet is just an HTML code so you can actually use it anywhere if you feel like it thanks for watching this guys check out my other videos and stay tuned for more from SheDB channel and also visit our blog at blog.sheetdb.io Take care.